people don't realize this. They're both nuclear. The only reason why fusion is amazing, why you gave that answer, you might not realize it. The reason why you gave that answer about fusion is because it's got fantastic energy density. Yep. Energy density to compare with, uh, with fossil fuels. When I do combustion of uh, any organic material, on average, I get about one electron volt of heat out for every atom that takes place in that reaction with the R, carbon, hydrogen, all those atoms, about one electron volt per atom. That's about what I get. When I do fission, I get 200 million electron volts per atom. Wait, so yeah. I'm going to sound completely idiotic here. So is, are, are you saying that fission is 200 million times more powerful? Or how, do, how does the layman interpret that? You get, you get that much more energy per atom. That's on a per atom basis. Wow. Right. So every atom that goes in for the fuel. Okay. It's uranium-235 in this case, as opposed to the, the one you get for combustion. And all that that's saying is the energy density. You get a massive amount of energy for a tiny little bit of materials. Right. So for a very small amount of materials, you get, and that's what's attractive about fusion. Okay. And then just for the benefit for me, but clearly the audience, like fusion and fission, like we are far more developed on the fusion front than the fission front, correct? Just the opposite. So we, we've been doing commercial fission uh, since the 50s. Okay. At scale, uh, largely deployed, not until the, about the 60s, where we actually started getting these the reactors fleet that we have today. Okay. So we started getting built in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. So it's basically when it stopped right, right in that area. 